Okay, this is a little bit similar to making a table. So today's problem solving strategy, we're just gonna talk about how to use multiplication to find the combinations. I hinted at that when we talked about making a table. So take a peek at our word problem. Um, Lucia's, Lucia's, three dogs, three dogs have red, purple, blue, green, and orange collars that they take turns wearing. Find the number of possible dog and collar combinations. So first thing you'll notice is I go ahead and I make um, the dog. Notice how cute the little dog picture is right here. I would not make my dog that cute. By now you guys know how I draw. What would I make for that? I would make a circle. So I would draw a circle, but you know, real artists did this. So they drew an actual dog and then they put a line one for red. We got that word up here. One for purple right there. One for blue, one for green, one for orange. We are just listing the colors that we find up there. So that takes care of dog one. Now we need to take care of dog two. Look how pretty they made that dog. I would just draw a mm -hmm, circle and I'd put the number two in it. And then I would do those same colors. And then over here, pretty dog, I would just make a circle and put a number three in it. Once I've done that, I'll have come up with all the dogs and the color combinations. So then what you need to do is count. I could count one by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But if you'll notice that I'm doing the same five colors three times. So just like I hinted at the making a table, I could take the three dogs and multiply that by the five colors and I get 15. Sometimes you can just go ahead. I mean, go ahead, do the work, show your work, do the long part. But the easy, super easy way to check your work is to use multiplication to find those combinations. Um, it's almost like a fail safe. This way, do the table or do the drawing, but then go ahead and use multiplication to check all the possible combinations. I'm going to give you a practice problem today, maybe even two.